Hi. <laughs> the question topic for this clip is uh, what are total procurement cost blind spots, uh, really on both sides of the fence, whether we're selling or buying. Uh, we've been through the, the 11 elements of total procurement cost, uh, and as we sit back and, and look at how customers can get sort of over-focused on, on one aspect of the system, it's a little bit like uh, the, the story about the five experts touching the different parts, uh, all blind, who are touching different parts of the elephant. And, uh, you know, they, they're getting a fierce fight because the guy who's touching the tusk does not agree with the guy who's touching the, the ear who's touching the tail. And uh, so when we, we see customers who get over-focused on something, it's, that's not wrong. It, we need to plus that. We just need to say, hey, what, good. And, and, and in addition, here are other elements that we can look at together and work on. And with that approach, they'll start to soften a little bit. So, for example, a customer may say, I'm obsessed with price because I can see it, I can measure it, and real price savings is real price savings. Um, so they're faxing, they're happily faxing out all the stuff they need to as many, many, many distributors they can find, and they're cherry-picking the lowest prices, um, and uh, they get real price savings. But they're not thinking about all the time they spend. The, uh, the multiple vendors mean multiple paperwork. Uh, some of the vendors aren't really equipped to, you know, have the right fill rates, and so they get a lot of back orders or mistakes, um, and they're, they're just not looking at all those things. The issue is not that, that the customer can't get a lower price. By clearly working with one supplier hand in glove, as Walmart does, you know, or integrated sole supply contracts do, you can get the, the distributor's cost to serve down so much that the price can actually come down. They can have their cake and eat it too. But we have to get them to see the whole elephant as opposed to what they're obsessed with. So we're not saying they're wrong. We're saying, brilliant, and let's do some more. Another obsession that's pretty common is to say, you know, I, I don't want any inventory. If I have inventory, it tends to disappear. So we are going to go hand-to-mouth inventory. It's very typical in contracting channels to see a, a big contractor, a lot of vans. They, they coincidentally grew up around the corner from some some distributors counter, and so every morning there are 10, 11, 12, 15 guys from one vendor, one, one, one customer over at the counter all waiting in line for an hour. Uh, and then maybe they come back at lunchtime and even at the end of the day, and they, every time they say, I want 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 80 bucks, bill me. So there's a $40 paperwork cost on both sides of the fence, you know, in the back office that nobody's looking at for not much material goods. And of course, the guys are waiting in line as opposed to out doing work. That they, 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 they are substituting uptime for shopping time, the most expensive kind of shopping time you could have. So how do we get the customer to see the whole picture and then move towards a better win-win you know, relationship? Um, another common one would be to apply just-in-time delivery. Uh, you see this uh, if somebody, you know, just-in-time works for some items, but if, if we wanted to take uh, paper clips and say, I want them delivered just-in-time twice a week to each desk in my office, um, it's crazy. You know, the people and paperwork costs uh, that are involved for no material costs, really, uh, it's crazy. So it, it, does, it does apply generally uh, to a lot of items, but there's usually a tale of very small little high-frequency items that doesn't just give them, give them to your supply and let them, you know, use it as they need it type of thing. Um, another common blind spot is if somebody's cash rich and they've got a lot of warehouse space, they think, well, why don't I buy direct? Or I buy and chose, I'll load up. Uh, distributors are guilty of doing this too on channel loading programs. Uh, not thinking, well, okay, I've got real price savings initially, but then do I really, am I really honest about the total carrying costs of this inventory over a period of time? And when I thought I bought three months supply, because the whole channel bought so much, didn't I really wind up buying six months supply and having to sell some of that excess stock at, at, at lower prices? Or by buying so much, half the stuff didn't sell as well as I forecasted. The other half sold better than I forecasted. So I've got half the line stocking out. Half the line is still excessively stocked, and I need to buy some more to recover my, my, my stock outs, but I can't because I, I, I loaded up on, the, on, on, on stuff that's moving slowly. So those are common uh, uh, hyper-focused uh, TPC blind spot things that you'll find. Now, we could come out 
and say, "Gee, you know, you're you're hyper focused in these things, and let's 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 look at a at a, at a total TPC reduction uh, approach or strategy." And right away, the first big hurdle we have is we're talking about consolidating or liquidating to a large degree a full time buyer's job because that's they spend a lot of time shopping and doing paperwork and taking care of expedited mistakes. Why would they want to liquidate their own job? So we realized that to sell a system story, we need to get our honchos to call on customer honchos to talk about the bigger picture and how if we change the bigger picture, uh, both the salesperson and the buyer who've been so involved in the old game can be redeployed in a, in a higher value added way, uh, which they can. And that's what we all have to aspire to do or we're going we're gonna to die. <laughs> so uh, those are some, some thoughts on TPC blind spots, and we can actually give them specific names, which we'll look at in the next clip. Thanks.